Hey, welcome to the channel today. I'm gonna to show you something about the lead shoulder that nobody ever talks about. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're gonna play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. So it's interesting, I have a hard time explaining this thing that goes on in the swing. I'm gonna do my best right now because it's a biomechanical thing and it's a range of motion thing that happens during the swing that I think is critically important to you. And I've talked about this before. You've seen me discuss rotation of the arm and r limiting range of motion and all this stuff. But body positioning is, is a critical factor in this. And let me just kind of walk you through it and show you what's happening in the mechanics. And why is this important? Well, let's talk about the problem that a lot of people have, and maybe you have it too. And I, and I see a lot of posts on the channel. People will, will write comments. I keep doing having this problem. I keep having this problem. Over the top, releasing early, all these things that go on. At the end of the day, you want to simplify the motion of your body and put yourself in the right positions to create a great impact position. The single point swing sets you up with a lead arm alignment to now where it allows me to, to easily get the club back to impact. I've eliminated the angle with the single plane swing. But it's really interesting what happens with the lead arm. And you've seen me talk about how if you isolate, this is the upper part of the arm, and if you isolate basically the bicep portion between the shoulder and the bicep, this part of the arm, it, and you hold that still, notice I'm tilting a little bit, and the shoulder's isolated, you'll notice that I can only rotate my forearm so far. That's as far as I can go. To me, that's, that's a very, very important part of what happens in a golf swing. And I don't want to say that this is the only thing you need to know, but if this is the club face, so if I'm holding a golf club and my grip is here, and this is the club face, wouldn't you think that how the club squares up in the impact would be one of the most important parts of the swing? Well, so if this is how a club squares up, right? If this is how a club squares up, so I'm coming down and the face squares like this, and you, everybody would say, yeah, you have to have the face square. So the face squares up, it's squaring up because of this, right? Because of the form rotation. Well, it can only do that if this is in the right orientation. This is in that isolated position. So what it comes down to is this is isolated and this is rotating. That's what it comes down to. It's pretty simple, really. But the question then becomes, how do you isolate this during the swing? And that's where I want to talk to you today about it. Because it comes down to position of the body. Here's how we screw it up. I just want to talk, go there first because this is what I see a lot. If, if, you're, if you're the guy that comes over the top, you'll notice that the over the top move, this rotation, anytime you see this in a golf swing, and we, we talk more about that, it's actually this going this direction. And when this part of the shoulder and arm goes this direction, the hand can then increase its range of motion. You can do this, the club then does this, and you get angles of the club, slices, hooks, tops, all those things, right? And those of you that keep saying, I'm topping it, what am I doing wrong? This might be it, I don't know, because there's a lot of things. Send videos into our coaches, we can immediately tell you what's going on. But this is a big deal, because you have, the question is, how do I put myself in a position where the only thing that can happen is the squaring of the face? Maybe a different question than why am I topping it? So, let's go through it. And I want to show you the mechanics of this. Tilt of the body and the position, which we call side bend, those positions isolate the shoulder. That's the entire purpose of that here. We want to isolate the shoulder's motion. In other words, put the shoulder in a position where it can't do anything, so all that this can happen is that. Here's how it, here's how it occurs. And by the way, Mo, talked to, Mo, Mo didn't understand this because he didn't really understand the biomechanics of it, but he, he talked about when he would demonstrate his position, this is exactly what he's doing. You see this crazy picture, which I've shown before, where Mo has the club behind him like that. He's doing this. He's isolating the shoulder. And it was a big deal to him. So let's walk through it. So here we go. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to walk you through kind of in slow motion the swing. So I'm going into the back swing. Notice that I'm tilted at a dress, right? That's, that's the tilt. The tilt already isolates the shoulder because by doing this, my arm comes up and look, it's isolated. You're not seeing me do this. This is where I see people make mistakes. Even in the single plane swing, they don't, they don't lift the shoulder up. They lift the arms up like this. See this, this arm? It has too much range of motion to it. Watch, there's a difference between this position and that position. You see what I just did? I lifted the shoulder up, which isolates the arm, and now this occurs. That's a big deal. I, I, 
And, I, and I'll give James Bell, one of our, my staff, some credit for this because he was asking me, he goes, Todd, I see a lot of our students, they keep coming into the club from underneath here like this. They keep going like this to the club and then they, they just look terrible. They, they can't get, I'm like, yeah. I go, because they need to lift the shoulder up and now it ends up perfect. And so one of the ways I know, this is the radius bone of your arm, this bone right here, that needs to be aligned on top of the shaft. If the radius bone's on the side, you know this arm has been rotated this way. So when I go through this, when I step into a golf shot, I, I'm isolating the shoulder. See what I just did there? I isolate the shoulder up. It limits the range. I step in, and then when you see me set up to the ball, this shoulder is in an up position. And guess what? On the way down, again, look at the shoulder moving up. And then when I get here, the only place that this can go is square because it's, it's isolated. I can't go further than that. So I've really created a position where I can only get the club square. That is the answer to why this body tilt is so important to this. So here we go. Address position, isolate the shoulder. It's high. That's what the tilt is. This arm is above this arm. That's part of our teaching. And then now I'm going to hit one. And so in the downswing, you're seeing this occur. Stabilization, side bend, isolation of the shoulder, squaring of the face. Slow that swing down. That's exactly what occurred. Anyway, cool stuff, important stuff, detailed stuff, yes. That's what we do on this channel. Thanks for joining me. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.